Today we're going to be showing you how to apply to Southeastern at southeastern.edu slash apply. Scroll down and click the apply now button. Before you can actually submit your application, you will need to create an account. So um, you want to make sure to use an email address that you check often and maybe use a personal account and not your school account just so that it doesn't get deactivated later. Um, you also want to make sure that when you're creating your uh, account that you do use an email and a password that you'll remember just in case you do need to log in later that you can access this information. After you create your account there is a second step that involves um, going to your email address and verifying your account. Once you've activated your account through your email, you'll be able to log back into the portal and create your application. So you'll get this message and all these little symbols are telling you that you need to fill out the different sections for the application. So go ahead and put in your identification, your personal information, your birth date, your social security number. This is pretty important. Make sure that you are putting in your correct social. If you're not sure, maybe just double check to make sure you're using the correct number. So you do have to make sure that each section that you click save and continue. That's the only way that it will actually save and allow you to move on to the next section. Some of the options do have drop downs. Um, we do suggest using the drop down options just because sometimes if you type in the information, it won't come up the way that you're typing it in. So if you use the drop down, that ensures that you're putting in the right information. Um, continue by saving the information. Same thing for high school. Whenever you're selecting the high school name, if your high school begins with Saint, it could be S-T or S-A-I-N-T. So the easiest way is just to do the drop down. Again, make sure that every page that you're clicking save and then save and continue. Here it's going to ask you for your parent or guardian information. And you'll notice there's little messages at the top notifying you if you've not completed a portion of the application. So each portion does have to be completed before you can be finished and fully submit everything. So you'll scroll down and at this point you're not finished. So it does say welcome with your name, but just know that you do need to complete the next section as well. After you've answered all the questions, hit continue to review, and then the message showing you your application is not yet submitted. So just make sure you're going to scroll down, double check to make sure everything is accurate, and then you'll be ready to move on to the next step, which is the application payment portion. Your application won't be fully submitted until you do submit the application fee, so it's important that you do that. if. For any reason you're not able to submit the application fee, just contact your admissions recruiter and they can walk you through what your steps would be.